All right, and today I'm showing you guys on how to change your iOS firmware version. Um, so this is um, do specifically per apps. So you guys want to get files there, iFile, iPhone bots, whatever you guys want to get. Um, depending on the iOS version you have, obviously most of you guys probably be getting files there. You guys can go to the uh, bottom tab, go to the apps right here, app folder, bring you here. You want to select onto an app, and each app might be a little different based on the folders. So you want to select into it, and you guys can go to documents. And you guys can go over to your the plus files right here. You also can go to uh, the plus file down there. Um, so there's a bunch of you can do, but we're going to documents. We go to this one, press on the root, and we have different items right here. So you can tap on the I next to it, and we're going to have all this information right here. So this is all the information per the app, and now we can uh, be able to change this. Um, so use that your wrist, guys. I'm not promising sure what happens, and just know that this obviously could mess things up. So I not recommend playing around with this unless you have a spare device, or we don't care if you destroy your device or app or whatever just be careful and uh, make notes of what you're doing so you can always change it back but i just want to recommend playing around with something you don't know of but here you can tap on app version change the app version right there uh base version device system name and you have all this information right here so you can explore follows up and just see different things like i said just don't change around stuff you can even change like the window height window width There's a bunch of stuff you can change on follows up just be careful when you guys are doing it and just you know uh Try not to mess it up too much and just kind of have an idea of what you're doing so you can always fix it in the future and always have a spare device. But like I said, use this as a risk. If anything happens, it's on you. Always have a backup just in case and just, you know, I don't know, just use that your wrist, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much how you can change your uh, app version for iOS um, for the firmware version. And also your build version and your iOS versions right here for it which is on 13.5.1, but I can always change it. Uh, like I said, if you're gonna change stuff, you know, it's do your own risk. I keep telling you guys that. It's, this is literally like data or files like for in your phone that you're messing, that you're messing with. And yeah, you might mess something up. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.